everyone, today I'm going to be conducting an interview with Gone with the Snow Dogs. If you don't know who they are, they're a really awesome channel. Um, they have two huskies, Shiloh and Shelby, which are adorable. All their links will be in the down bar. The videos are pretty simple, they're just like sort of vloggish things, but there's something about them that just makes them cute. And they have become very popular very fast. So let's get started on the interview. What made you start your YouTube channel? One of the main reasons that I started my YouTube channel was the Mean Kitty channel had done a video about their cats and they asked us to do, they asked all the viewers to do a video response showing your pets. So I made a quick video with Shiloh and Shelby and just showed some of the things that they do and enjoy doing and the video got over a thousand views within like two or three days and kind of figured out that people might actually be interested in watching the dogs and thought it would be fun so we gave them their own channel. This is probably a question that a lot of people are wondering but why are your dogs huskies? Both of our dogs are huskies because we couldn't think of any breed better than huskies. Have you ever considered getting another dog? There's a dog at our shelter right now that I would really like to bring home her name is Cinnamon, but Shiloh and Shelby and I haven't been able to convince Jamie to go get her yet. Why did you adopt or buy Shiloh? We got Shiloh from a pet store, and one of the main reasons that we actually got her was she was really sick, and she was very scared of people. She had been at the store for a couple of weeks, and the people that owned the place said they were going to put her down because she wasn't getting any better. So we kind of felt sorry for her and we'd grown attached to her over the two weeks we'd been with her. So we decided to bring her home. Why did you adopt her by Shelby? When Shiloh was almost six years old, she got really sick and we actually, we almost lost her. Um, we'd taken her to the vet and she had a really bad infection and we weren't sure if she was going to make it through her sickness. We weren't sure if she was going to survive. We weren't sure That's how much longer we would have her. We, we weren't really sure how much longer we would have her if she would be able to survive the illness that she had. Um, when she did survive, we were really happy and we decided that we should probably get another dog because we knew if for some reason if we did lose Shiloh it would be really hard to bring another dog into the house without always thinking it was Shiloh. What made you like animals? I don't know, how can you not like animals? They're always happy with you no matter what. What is your favorite organization that helps animals? My favorite organization that helps animals is, of course, the Huron Humane Society of Alpena. My second most favorite organization that helps animals is the Tales of the Tundra Siberian Husky Rescue, which is where I hope one day to get our next husky from if it's not from the Humane Society. Do you have any favorite breeds of dogs besides huskies? Besides huskies, my favorite breed of dog is St. Bernard's because I grew up with them, and they're awesome. What? She wants to be on camera. Look, there it is. What's our favorite breed of dog beside Huskies? Say, St. Bernard's likes Sunshine. Sunshine's one of your best friends, huh? Yeah, one of your best friends. You can stand there all you want. I don't care. Did you, did you ever have any dogs when you were a child? Did I have any dogs when I was younger? <laughs> Are you confused? I grew up with St. Bernard's. Pretty much every dog I had when I was little was a St. Bernard. I did have one little black dog that was a mutt. And we did have a Basenji for a little while. Did you have any animals before Shiloh and Shelby? Before Shiloh and Shelby we had a black dog named Clyde. He was a lab mix. We only had him till he was about six months old and we lived in a really, really small apartment with no backyard at the time and we probably never should have gotten a dog. 
so we found him a better home. But while we had Clyde, we got a kitten, and we named her Bonnie. So we had Bonnie and Clyde. And we moved out to Arizona for a few years. We took Bonnie with us, and it was when we were in Arizona when we got Shiloh. And when we decided to move back to Michigan, we left Bonnie with my aunt so that she wasn't all by herself out there. And she still has Bonnie. Bonnie is 10 now? Maybe a little bit older than that. She might be a little bit older than that. Do you expect to become famous on YouTube? I didn't expect our videos to get as much attention as they are. I figured people would watch them because it's dogs and everybody watches animals on YouTube, but I didn't really expect to become as popular as, as we are. What made you decide to apply for a partnership? We applied for a partnership after some of the friends that we had made on YouTube who were partners started telling us that we should. It wasn't really something that we had initially thought of doing, but some of our friends said, oh, you have enough viewers, you have enough videos up, you should do it. So we applied, and it actually took us nine months, I think it was, before we got accepted into the YouTube Partner Program. What is your favorite thing about YouTube? My favorite thing about YouTube is the YouTube community, the people, the communications between people, just the, the friends you can make and the things you can see. It's just, it's just a lot of fun. Do you have any advice for new YouTubers? The biggest thing I can tell you, don't give up. Do what you're doing if it makes you happy. As long as what you're doing is making you happy and you're having fun with it, keep doing it. Don't let anybody tell you any different, you know. Don't let the trolls get to you. There's always going to be somebody out there that doesn't like what you do, but there's also always going to be somebody out there that really enjoys what you do. Make the videos because you want to make them, not for any other reason. Thank you so much for doing this interview with me, Gone to the Snow Dogs. It was really cool just to know you and get to work with you. And the video's up, so enjoy, guys. Bye. Thanks for having us.